Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, we are going to discuss another important concept of object-oriented programming that is polymorphism. In general, polymorphism refers to the condition of occurring in several different forms. In object-oriented programming, polymorphism facilitates creating two or more objects with the same name. There are two types of polymorphism. One is compile time polymorphism and other one is runtime polymorphism. Let's start with compile time polymorphism. In case of compile time polymorphism, compiler determines the method to call based on method signature and arguments passed. And we can achieve it through method overloading. Method overloading allows a class to have multiple methods with the same name but different parameter list. Let's understand overloading with an example. We have a student class and we have the properties name and age. Now I will add a method to this class. I have added display information. This method doesn't take any parameter and it will display name and age. Now I will add one more method with the same name display information. See, but this method takes string type parameter. I will add one more method with same name. This method takes message and grade as parameter, string and integer are the parameter types. This is method overloading. We can have different methods with same name but different parameter list. The compiler determines which method to call based on the number and types of parameters passed during the method invocation. Now I will create instance of student class, student1 new student and we can pass the values ages 20 see here we have created instance of student class now i'll show you how to call these overloaded methods see this this will call the first method and this statement calls the second method and now we are calling the third method this is how we can call overloaded methods and compiler decides which method to call based on the type and number of parameters passed. Now let's run this application. This is the output. Method overloading makes the code more readable by allowing us to use the same method name for different behaviors. In case of runtime polymorphism, method that gets executed is determined at runtime. And we can achieve it through method overriding. Method overriding is a feature in object-oriented programming that allows a derived class to provide a specific implementation for a method that is already defined in its base class. Look at this book class. This book class has four properties and a constructor and a method, display info method with virtual keyword. And we have a fiction book class and this fiction book class derives from this book class. Here book class is a base class and fiction book class is a derived class. If you look at this class, this has a property genre and this has a constructor. And here we are overriding this display info method. This is the way we achieve runtime polymorphism. Method overriding is closely tied to the concept of inheritance. Virtual methods have a default implementation in the base class but can be overridden in derived classes. We use override keyword to override the virtual methods. You can also go for abstract methods but if you want to use abstract methods then class must be abstract. Just like virtual methods here you have to override abstract methods. In case of virtual methods overriding is optional. If you want to use um, if you want to use the base class implementation, then you can go for it. But in case of abstract methods, base class, base class will not have implementation. In that case, you have to give implementation in the derived class. Abstract methods will not have implementation in base class and must be implemented in all derived classes. This is how we can achieve runtime polymorphism. Polymorphism offers several advantages like code reusability, extensibility, readability, maintainability. 